Who gon' stop me? A Rocky can never rock me. Mr. Skittles with Biscotti got me feeling out my body. From the west, we reside. California, where we rock. Got see no quotes. Approach, I speak out dope. Bit baggy. Paper and plastic. The original tactics. Put on for my city, and I feel fantastic. Stuck with the script just to put it in motion. The motive devoted. Go and pick my opponent. First thing I gotta do is put you bitches on notice. There's no rations, it's actions. I'm all out smashing. Slash them back to back. I don't cut no slack. And if you speak on smooth, then your team getting smacked. And we started from the basement. Now that bitch vacant. Next move, checks made. Counting up the faces. Benjamin Franklin, OG stankin'. Never been the man, been the man in the making. Don't waste time. We only got one chance. Put your pants up. Bust the move like damn. Love in the air, romance. Everybody keep on jamming. I just wanna. Three, two, one, and we're live with your boy Smooth. What's happening? Q's Corner. What's cracking? Q's Corner, an interview with Smooth. What's happening? If y'all haven't listened to Momentum, you already know the deal. I feel that. Uh, Shout out to Momentum. Shout out to Mind Over Matter. You already know. (laughs) It's been a long time coming. Hey, tell me about yourself, G. It's your boy Smooth. Everybody calls me Smooth just because that's how I am, you know what I'm saying? It's no, your boy, but, Smooth. You know, I'm based out of Sacramento, California. You know, born and raised. But I've been up and down California, you know. Right now, I still live in Sac. I'm out here. I got a good girlfriend. Beautiful. I'm out here living life. We just dropped an album a month ago. If you haven't listened to Momentum, Momentum. <laughs> <laughs> go and listen you know, to Momentum um, right now. But, you know, I'm 25 years old. I've been in love with rap, hip-hop for... As long as I can remember, you know, it's just, it's just been a part of me. Hey, like what, like what got you in? Like, I know like we've been rapping, you feel me? Like uh, for a while, but like what, when was the first time you were ever like, all right, I'm about to start rapping. The first time was probably like maybe when I was a freshman, I would always just like joke around with like raps and stuff. Even, you know, our boy Sheen, I was, I was in a KFC and I just busted out these shitty ass raps in in ninth grade, and like we were like laughing our asses yeah. off and shitty. Like, but like at that time, like even like you know our freshman year during that rally, our yeah freshman yeah. year when okay. they had all those rappers and yeah. stuff. Like even then, I was like, yeah, I remember I'm, that. I'm That's like, real. I'm like, I could do this way better than everyone on here and oh. stuff like that. So pretty much like right when I was around like probably 15. That's real. But the album that made me fall in love with rap was probably get rich or die trying get rich or die cent, trying for sure there's like uh you remember like J- i think j cole and like friday night lights that was like that was that was like the bro. peak you know friday night lights like the warm-up that that like hella made me want to rap i think like and when we were all like slapping like home for the holidays i was just gonna shit, say that's like, probably the most memorable like you know home for the holidays like hey what's your is it what's your favorite song on that on that shit though Home for the holidays. Home for the for holidays. Sure. What's like, number two on there? Because there's so many more after that. I honestly try not to rank songs like one, two, three, four, just because they all bring certain feelings and stuff like that, you know. But man, that's tough. I don't even know if I could answer that like, on the spot. If you, honestly. If, okay, maybe not. Okay, so if you were gonna pick, if you weren't gonna pick home for the holidays, like when you're going on like your phone, what what are you going for on Friday Night Lights? What's the other song? Unless you're like not start, like when you're not starting it from the beginning. Let me, let me look at the track list, <laughs> bro. Two Face. Like every time I listen to Two Face, I'm like, fuck, bro. That shit. That shit is crazy. Like. That era of Cole was insane, I think. That really made me, like, appreciate Cole, like, even more. Just, like, not really knowing who he, like, was, but, like, you know, connecting yeah. with, like, everything that he'd been dropping. And just, like, I don't know, just, like, that day and age, like, with, with rap, even, like, that was, like, Drake was coming up, you know, Wiz was coming up. Like, that was honestly, like, the prime, like, music era for us. Like, we were so... Like in like anything like Wiz, Cole, Drake, any like anybody dropped at that time, we would drop anything to go listen to that. Like, no, I feel that. Like Wiz was big too. Like with Cushion OJ, I remember Cushion OJ dropping. That was one of my favorite favorite albums for sure. 
just because in the cut in the cut rolling doobies up (laughs) wake up bake up gotta get my cake up in the cut in In the the cut cut, rolling doobies doobies up that was like literally like you know in the blazer rolling up doobies in the cut like literally like we would that's like that was us you know yeah (laughs) Shout out to the blazer. You feel me? <laughs> Turn me to a monster cooking noodles into pasta. Hey, let me tell you right now. If y'all want the best rolled blunt of your life. Come to you, smooth. <laughs> you go to this man right here, bro. Since day one, twisting up the choppers, bro. Okay, now okay, now back to the J. Cole. Now that I'm looking at the track list because I'm high right now. And I don't really remember a lot of things when I'm high. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to the stoners because I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But honestly, like you got it. That was probably oh, you got it. That's it's like you know it. that line. He's like, you still got it, girl. Yeah, you still got it. Like Ooh. that shit. Like Ooh. that is a classic. Right is that there. the one with Wale on it? Right? Wale is on that is song, he? right? I don't know if he's on that one. Which you got, we got it? Too deep for the intro. Before I'm gone, back to the back to the topic. Is it? it's fire, bro? Wale is on. You got it, bro. Is it? Ma- he says something like Montclair win a quote. Yep, yep, yep. You're yeah, right. Yeah, You're yeah, right. yeah. That song's fire, bro. Shout out to Cole. That that fool's had like an interesting career. He's honestly probably. I think he's one of. He's one of my greatest rappers of all time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just because I don't, I don't really base like the rep, like who I think's the greatest off of like other people's influences. Like it's just the way I connect to With the, it. the music. Yeah. Okay, I can dig that. It's honestly like some of it could be popular take, but other bit it, like. So, what's your favorite Cole album then? Ooh, that's hard, bro. Honestly, it's hard. Like, damn. Okay, Four Sales Drive. I wouldn't say to me is number one, but it's for sure number two. Um, I think. Sideline Story is number three. For okay. Your Eyes Only is number four, four. just because it's, it's, a, it's a different side of Cole, for sure. It's like not everything that we're, we're used to, but I just didn't vibe as much as his other other albums, for sure. But I think... Born Sinner? Are you going to put just, Born Sinner? I was Sinner just going to say I was just gonna drop, thing, I was gonna yeah. drop Born Sinner number one. <laughs> okay, honestly, just because for me, it was like that dropped like... Right before, like a year before, I moved to Santa Barbara, and like just like that whole transition from moving like from Northern California down to Southern California, like it just brought that vibe. And I don't know, you, I could still replay that, you know, front to back. And, All right, so what's your favorite song on that one then? Power your, trip. Your go-to. Power trip. Power, power trip. trip. You're gonna go power trip. Just because I think bro. the day that I was coming out here to visit, power trip dropped. So I probably listened to that for maybe two hours of the drive down here like that a six whole, hour yeah. drive yeah yeah especially like when miguel comes on the hook too yeah you that i'm saying do you believe me i can't even sing so i'm not gonna sing but <laughs> <laughs> hit a negus on on the mic come on bro <laughs> i'm not gonna i've hit never that. heard i don't think i've ever actually heard you even sing a line you've never i've never heard you sing like a line i don't know i'm ever. i just have like a real deeper voice so like males as it is like you can't hit those like high like high notes like unless you are just i guess blessed like that uh, but, yeah like, for me i don't know i smoke a lot of weed so that probably doesn't help my singing but like i've never really like thought i was like a singer like some people have been told telling me like i have a really like catchy voice like yeah you um, know like you have a good voice for like radio type shit and it's always been like that yeah but like I don't really see myself as a singer. But like, you got any vocal coaches out there? Come slide my way, slide my DMs. <laughs> We're always open for business. We you know, trying to work. <laughs> hey, you feel me? Exactly. Always get better. You know. But like, hey, would you would you make a singing song? Would you ever sing a full song? Honestly, like I, if you I, would, were... I would. I would record one for sure. I yeah. would. That's not necessarily. I would put one out Boom. there. But like, I would for sure. I'm not like yeah, enclosed again, in one yeah. box. Like I. Like rapping is like my thing, but like I'm I'm always open. Like even like you know mixed feelings. Like when yeah. we were going through like the beat process of that, like like we gotta have mixed feelings on there just because it's just you don't hear that really a lot. That that yeah. rap and rock vibe, like you know. Yeah, I feel that. All right, all right. Let's talk about momentum then. All right, 
Well, momentum. all right, but for momentum, if let's lead know, up to momentum. If you don't know momentum, <laughs> we'll give you the background story. You know? <laughs> let's let, let's like lead up to momentum, like from the very first song you dropped until like we we started with momentum, like right. how you were feeling with music, like how you wanted to make music, what you thought about it, like uh, the whole. Give me the whole damn thing from the very beginning. Like we like. You know, like senior year, we were we were recording. Like you and Negus were like with each other, and like me and Hygienic, we were always together because like that that was my neighbor and shit. And um, you know, we would always talk about like rap and all this stuff because Hygienic's heavily into like the hip hop culture and stuff like that. Yeah. And you know, we were always talking and like we would like write raps and stuff and like spit them back and forth to each other and like we were like, yo, that's like dope. Like, let's keep it going and stuff. So, like, eventually we downloaded some program. I don't know what we were. It was probably Audacity or something. But, like, literally we were recording off a laptop mic to where you would just, like, it would. It was probably the shittiest quality. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even know why or how we did it, but, like, we did it. And so I probably put out my first song. What was it, like, 20 it was probably 2011 and i don't even remember what for it was sure. called honestly for sure. it was bro it was right around like when me and negus had like yeah honestly it was at the like, same time yeah. it, we were still in height nah yeah. bro we were still in high school we because were for sure. you because you had i remember hearing you dropped yeah it was definitely uh-huh. still in high school it was the last it was the last semester of high school easily yeah and okay. it was uh, it was just it was just what it is like <laughs> it was my first rap like it was shitty my flow was shitty my delivery was shitty voice control was shitty everything you could think about it like nothing about it was good but like the fact that you know we were that young like doing stuff that nobody else was doing was fucking dope and like the main part about it was like i had so much fun like like even like growing up through like high school i was never really like super into like one certain thing but like once i started writing you know like every day like getting into it like i really started to like fall in love with it and like i didn't really think of it as anything but like just rap like i was with my boys we was doing what we love doing Mm -hmm. and like we didn't really have a worry in the world and like that's what the tight thing was because before we really like grew up and actually had to deal with like the real world type shit we was just having fun yeah and then eventually you know we did those diss tracks you know like, <laughs> we were beefing for a second we we beefed we so did beef this, it was neg negative all, all it fun was and negative. love and shit yeah i know it was never like serious <laughs> like we were, we were like, always but like it was just more of like the competitive nature like that's how between it, all of yeah. us like we're always like I don't even know what we were t- like, like why yeah. that even came about. Even. I don't know who either. dropped the first one. Did you guys drop the first one or was we it, it was us? You guys might have done it, but we might. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. It might have been like one line out of like one song or something like that. I, I don't know. What. But I remember. I specifically <laughs> remember hearing it, and I called this fool Jenic. I was like, "Look, listen to this shit." And Jenic was like, "All right, let's go. Let's, let's get go. it." And like that's how. Like, and then that shit was fun. Yeah, that was like. But, like, after all that, like, we really, like, came together. And that's hella funny, though, because when we came at the first, like, little, like, recording studio, like, our boy, Mr. Hustle, shout out Mr. Hustle. Uh, shout out Hus. He really put the investment in for, because, like, we were all, like, rapping, but, like, like I said, we were yeah. like, recording over, like, shitty ass mics and stuff like that. He was, like, the one to really, like, go out there and be like, he bought it. He I bought, remember yeah. going with him and buying the mic. That shit was crazy. He, he put yeah. the money in. And that's crazy yeah he bought the keyboard the midi like he, that's crazy yeah because he was really the only one with like hell money and, he was that, the only <laughs> fool i knew in high school like that, that had bread like, 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 like it was like that time that we grew up like nobody was trying to hire 16 17 year olds mm-hmm. nobody because that was when the recession hit you know like exactly so exactly it was like hard so we pretty much were just going off of mr hustle yeah shout out so to, shout out to that fool for real that, like, on like some he real really shit. started like if he didn't buy that shit. we probably wouldn't be like as good 
as we are now. Not know? I don't even know if we would have all like came together because that food, that that yeah, that's why we came together and shit because uh, yeah. we were all like that's that how food, we all yeah. we all at the first time uh-huh. when we when we went to slaps with it. Yeah, and like we didn't even have our group Mind Over Matter like created by them. Hey, like, who, who you remember <laughs> what we started first? Modern Marvel Cube. <laughs> I was gonna say the Modern Marvel Crew. We were like Jenik is corny for that. Shout yeah, out to Jenik. Just- <laughs> And we're, no, hey, we're all like that. Hey, no, tight. the funniest no, part. Tight. The funniest part about it is that nigga Jenna came up with fucking mind over matter. With mind over matter too. I don't. Re- I don't really remember how it like came, but he it just came to him like he's like mind over matter, and then he just came through to all of us, and we were just like, the, yeah, yeah, th- that was that's, us. That's crazy. He did come up with both of them. Yeah, I mean that fool is probably one of the most creative fools that I, I know. Oh, so, like, still, bro. Dude. And that fool's helped me like with literally every like everything music related like that fool's always had like his like foot in the door like so shout out jenny he's hella genuine yeah. and shit like yeah that fool bro and i'll always say i learned how to flow from that fool because that fool's got one of the he's fucking craziest has, like rap schemes and of like, like you think of like a jay-z but like with like a 50 cent like Bro, the one verse he dropped on the album and shit, I'm like, the bro. I listen to it over and over again. I'm like, bro, how did you come up with some of this? Like his wordplay on that exactly. verse, like is the whole like schemes on that. Bro, he talks. The whole thing is about him like breaking in a car. It's Dude. it's about a car, bro. I'm Damn, like, like, I'm like, like I still remember. If like, you remember that Waka Flocka song, Grove Street Party? Yeah. Yes. This yes. fool, like, I still remember. I don't. I don't remember every line. But that is like he wrote a verse to that, and that was probably one of the craziest verses. Like that fool is just like that's the thing though. Like with that fool, like whenever we would get together, and like that fool would push me to like that to how I like come out. Like now, like I'm like I can't have this fool come out so hard and have me be like yeah. the weakest leak type thing, you know? And that, definitely, that's for that's for damn sure. Yeah. I, I feel like that with like. Like you and and Jenik too, and that's how uh, like I th- we were having fun, but we also all were like, I'm not trying yeah, to be the weakest exactly person on this the track. Whole time, but nobody was trying to say that at yeah. all. Like, but, but well, it, was it wasn't like, it wasn't even like we were competing, uh-huh. but we all wanted the song to be good, and like uh-huh. we, like so it was like, and we're like, oh shit, this feels wrong. Like, yeah. and I'm like, and fuck, I gotta my shit gotta be clean exactly. too, come correct. And it's like you, you delete a couple bars and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like I can't come along with that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got hustle rapping and shit. You're like. Man, no, okay, you, no, but <laughs> do you remember that song that we literally there, okay, literally before we even say the story, everybody we dropped a song with Mr. Hustle, and everybody was like, Yo, Mr. Hustle really flowed on that song. And the whole entire recording process, me and Q are in the booth. <laughs> He's trying to spit line by line. We were like, No, no, no. <laughs> we're like, You gotta say it like this, 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 and then you flow into this, and like, he did it. He did it. Like it took how long? It but took he did it, it took a good minute, but like shout out to Hustle. He came in, killed that shit, and he got it to the point where like people thought you know, he like, was clean he, and shit. He did that, like, yeah, yeah. You know, like and that's what like is fucking dope. Like I'm not taking any credit for it, but the, he wrote that all fool, the lines. Bro, he wrote he, everything. He was, uh, rap, Matt was always like, "Remember this fool and his <laughs> monster." Like, like yo, I let's remember, freestyle. I remember he was <laughs> like, "Yo, I'm freestyle. coming to pick you up. We'll roll up a couple blunts and we'll freestyle." I remember being in fucking Sun City. Sun City's like this fucking <laughs> retirement home in Roseville, and we're just posted in the middle of the night, just smoking and rapping, and it's just like. <laughs> Bro, he would call hella randomly all the time. He called different time. people like, "Hey, like I'm, we're gonna rap." Like, and he was the only dude like at, in the in the very beginning, yeah. like that, that was like down for that and exactly. shit. And, and every even, time, he, every he's time, always, he would always come with, let's with something. Yeah. Let's freestyle. Let's freestyle. Let's freestyle. Always, always. Shout out, straight up. That's crazy. That's I totally forgot about that for always yeah. being like, yo. <laughs> Bro, he, I think yes. he's just, I think in the last time I've talked to him in a few times, he's been like something about I, freestyling. I guarantee you, he's he's probably freestyling for his, his little girl right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but shit. That's real. Like, All right, so we're at Doc Slaps' house. In so the, in the, in the you know story. we're recording like we're making shitty like slaps. Shit, rest in peace, slaps. Yep. You know, rest in peace, he's out here making some fucking shitty like like. Don't get us wrong, like, we were making shitty-ass raps, too, like, shitty and shitty go hand-in-hand, and, like, it was just, like, 
hey, that beat was kind of clean no, for it what was, it though. was. Like we at the time though, <laughs> we thought was, we at the time tight. at the time we thought we were the cleanest fools alive. <laughs> And so, like, this fool, of course, Mr. Hustle would always, he'd be the one with the most weed and shit. So every time this fool would go into the booth, <laughs> he would be smoking his weed and shit, like. <laughs> and this fool, I, I, I won't ever forget this, this fool, this fool came out and he was, like, looking at his jar. He's like, dog, we might have smoked, <laughs> we might have smoked the whole ounce. <laughs> And at the time, at the time, we were like, oh, shit, because <laughs> that's a lot of weed. <laughs> well, we smoked that shit hella fast. Yeah, like, like all like... right, hustles in the booth, like, niggas were going ham. And, of course, Doc Slaps would always be like, pack me a snap. Pack me a snap. <laughs> Steve Snaps. He was ahead exactly. of his time, bro. Exactly. He was ahead of his time. They called us Steve Snaps. And it's just hey. like. <laughs> he put his producer tag on those beats. Uh-huh. I, that was the first real producer tag I've ever heard, bro. For real. <laughs> like. We thought we were so lit, but so you know, eventually, about, like, so his mom got mad that we were there all the time. <laughs> so we got kicked out of there. <laughs> and then we, we were like, like, we got the studio equipment, but we don't got a place. So I think we, did we go to Negus's we, after that? Yeah, oh, yeah. we so went we, to Negus's. So we moved to Negus's. We put the mic there. Uh, we recorded a couple songs. Was it Run It and. Um, we started catching steam right yeah. there like that was when that was a vibe where yeah we would just get together a couple times a week just chill record just like we would go through youtube like searching for hella beats like we would always hop Hours. on beats never have any like original beats or anything like that but same thing at negus's house his parents didn't <laughs> didn't like us having having us over all the time so we got kicked out of there again <laughs> And I think that's around the time like we finally came up with a group like Mind Over Matter. Like, well, yeah. it it was at Slaps, was it? Yeah, because we were Mind Over Matter at because I still have under Dynamic Duo SoundCloud uh-huh. Mind, Mind Over Matter on on running. Yeah. It was before that. It was at Slaps okay. right before okay, we came. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we came up with that Mind Over Matter, and it was just like, you know, no matter what, like we're always gonna put our all into it, and that's pretty much all all that's shown throughout like all of our music like you it know. was it was fun i think like we like we were trying to have fun like we never took we it serious no you feel and me? we were like, at the point ever. where like our homies who don't need, don't even rap they were, they were trying to get on track yeah and shit. quinn like, morris is on a track yeah he, yeah he came in killed it <laughs> <laughs> what he said something like <laughs> oh he said he said um he said i'm sitting on the couch getting head from my lady yeah. something like that. Something like hello funny, hello like yeah, but like he said, uh, M O M made it like yeah. some shit at the end. I because that that was the ad lib track. We were in your grandpa's apartment. Yeah, that, yeah, because yeah. we moved after Negus's to uh-huh. my grandpa's. That shit was hella hot. Hella man. hot. This fool didn't live there, so there was no AC or nothing like that. So yeah. we were out here sweating and like in the, in the middle of summer. <laughs> it was summer. Yeah, sack sack summers are fucking brutal. Uh, yes, fucking brutal. Triple digits all day long. You know what I'm saying? The night comes around and it's like still 90 fucking degrees. Like you're fucking dying. Yeah. So imagine being in a house, you out here yelling, you got all this hot ass breath everywhere. <laughs> we were sweating, bro. Sweating. You know? So like, I don't know. We moved out of there because I think it was just way too hot. Yeah. And then we ended yeah. up moving it Into your to crib. my house. And, and it was that, there. Was, that was there pretty much for probably like a year, two years. Yeah. We had it in my in my closet. Everybody would just slide through. I got like a little stereo in there, so we would just hook the laptop up, play the beats nonstop until everybody's done with a verse. And then we had the program Audacity, and we would just load up the beat there and just record. And hours do, we would take. Yeah. It would take us hours to record. We could not. Sometimes, we, we, bro. Could not we could not fucking not. finish it. Like no, it was hard. It it, and sure. shout out to your parents for not kicking us out. <laughs> you feel me? They like straight like, up, they, shout, my, out, no, shout, shout out to, to your yeah, parents, my parents for not kicking us out. Love, yeah, they love all my friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. And stuff. As long as you know, we weren't ever like too loud, like no, nothing too nah. crazy and shit like that. But you know, they never said anything. They enjoyed it, bro. I think one time, like we made a song, and it took like it took us like almost 15 hours because we spent like five or six <laughs> hours trying to find a beat and then you Hell like long. and then we would bro we would sit there pick out a beat right and then uh-huh. record it in the same day and yeah. shit that's why it took so long that's yeah. right that's right why yeah it was a process for us 
And honestly, like, I feel like I would always take the longest for sure. Nah, bro. I think bro, <laughs> all of us would take like an hour and a half yeah. to record a it verse leads, sometimes, yeah. bro. That's crazy. And then that was... And you like, released some solo shit, too. Yeah, I would just get in the booth and shit and just... Yeah. You came out with some fire. Yeah. Show me that that show me re- something yeah, remix, remix is fire, yeah. bro. That shit fire. is fire. That's really that what shit was like, kind of going crazy yeah, for a second was, amongst the homies. Yeah, that shit like back in the day, like that was up there, like you know, getting like seven hundred, eight hundred plays and shit, like. And that was when SoundCloud wasn't shit. Yeah. Hey, your 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 remix of uh, uh I used to the Jay Z and the Kanye song. Yeah, that uh, shit fucking. I don't even. Somebody's out there with all all these tracks for sure. Well, Kramer had a a lot of them. Good I have most of them. Yeah, Did, didn't oh, I you, send them yeah, to you? you sent me yeah. them. I got it. I got it on my laptop. They're they're honestly like some of them are are trash, but like it's yeah, kind of cool to them, listen to. Yeah, because you're like, damn, I really came up with that. Yeah, and, that, you know. <clears throat> but and we weren't thinking like that either. Then when we were making them, we were just like fucking exactly, around, like all right, you know, like fucking eighteen, nineteen year olds, just like fucking around and rapping. Exactly. Living in the city with not shit to do. <laughs> All right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blame mind over matter slowing down for you moving. Like, honestly, <laughs> you I don't blame. blame I don't, I don't, I don't disagree <laughs> with that at all. Because like once I, once I fucking made the move, like that was like when, like kind of like everybody just like, kind of like departed and like we didn't make a song after that. Well, no, you came back and yeah, you and I made a song. Uh-huh. We made a, a night in the city. And that was the last song we made together. But that shit was fire. Come on now, yeah, <laughs> that shit Nine was like the city. best one. We I hit my Oakland drop. I hit my Oakland drop. Hey, fresh that off shit the is. block. Hey, <laughs> that shit was yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna take the whole blame for that. Right <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> but uh, but like, you're the one who brought it back together though, so <laughs> it's all Gucci. <laughs> it's Bro, uh, well, I had that thing with with Gabe too. Yeah, I, I, honestly, you I probably had, wouldn't you have had a kept, couple shows, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I probably wouldn't have kept rapping if it weren't for that fool saying, "Hey, we're gonna get some shows." But I mean, like, it doesn't matter because well, we always knew too though. Like when it happened that we were gonna come back together, yeah. you feel me? At some time, we like, were gonna do something again. Exactly. Like I, I had didn't think that was not ever gonna happen for sure it was just but the way it happened is kind of crazy and it's kind of yeah. crazy we did like a full length album in and two shit. days two days all right if you guys didn't catch that <laughs> <laughs> all right so how was we'll, we'll, we'll do something personal how was like santa barbara for the few few years like explain that experience and what you got that from was, that? i mean honestly when i first moved out there because i never been away from like my family or like my parents so like at first it was tough but like thankfully like i moved out with, like one of my best friends uh quinn so like you know it was and his brother max shout out to those two yeah but like it wasn't really like i mean it was hard at first because it's like you know like you're like six and a half hours away from like your family and like but once you like get used to it after a couple of months you know you get settled in you figure out like all right this is dope like it's really a life-changing experience and like i wouldn't take it back for nothing Said maybe like unless we get like signed you know mind over matter <laughs> but like the experiences like I, I almost feel like i really like grew up like out here like compared to like when i first moved out to when i left i was like a completely like different person and you just go through so many different experiences and hardships like on your own and like if anybody's listening and like you're on the fence like go do it go move to a different city like yeah as scary as it seems, there'll be times where you feel like it's the best decision you've ever made. So it's, it's, I mean, there's ups and downs, but I mean, life's all about balance, you know? So I wouldn't take it back for nothing. It was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had for sure. It's real. It's yeah, real but like at the same time, it's like, it um, like, it's such a beautiful city. Like it almost distracts you from what you really are after in life. And that's like the only downside I would take out of it for sure. We here in Santa Barbara right now. Exactly. <laughs> Making the trip. Shout out to Leah. Yeah. Meeting halfway in for California. Real. Shout out to California for being you so know, fucking exactly. big and we can we meet can halfway. Just, exactly. <laughs> like, it's nothing. That's real though. That That's good. It's good that you yeah. like recognize both of that. That's good. All right. So now we're at momentum. So <laughs> we actually like for like a good like amount didn't really like talk to each other like all the time. Like, kind of like we do now, you know? Yeah. Like, we we didn't talk for a while though. You know, when I first moved out yeah. here, you moved back. When yeah, I moved out exactly. down to San Diego, like, 
flip flop, damn near. But you, I think, bro. Honestly, I think on the same, almost the same day you you were moving home, I was moving down. Yeah. Was it like? I think it was. It was like pretty that, damn right? close. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we were like talking. You said you were coming back for like a week for Christmas, and you know, you know, just like linking up, like we're gonna make tracks, like regardless. And then you said that your uncle's got a spot. He's got a studio that we're going to record at. So I was like, all right, dope. Bet. We sliding through. Oh, shit. I'm getting a phone call, but I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, we're like at the studio or no, not even at the studio. All right. So the day that you get back, um, we're meeting up at your place in the garage for one time for the city you know one time one time back in the garage where yeah, we we're spent back a lot in the of garage, fucking time yeah. Yeah. and um you know q's going through like all the beats we have so the night before we go and we're going over to his uncle's house we we pick out the whole track list the whole album one through ten and pretty much just went home to go right so we come back to the studio i think the first song that we did was momentum right I think that set Yeah, because you guys you up, yeah, bro. you and Eggs were writing that before I came over <clears throat> yep. the night before and then you kinda just you guys already had like your, your verses like laid out and where I was gonna go in. So it was kinda just easy to just ease right into it. Like it was nothing. So then we pretty much just wrote like on our own time and when we went to the studio we probably spent like nine, ten hours there the first day. We were there for a while. We were there for a while to the point where <laughs> yeah, we almost got kicked out again. Almost, yeah, yeah. My my girl wasn't very happy either about yeah, it. Yeah, because he didn't know we were recording an album. He's oh, like, I he thought he was pissed, bro. He was pissed when we walked in and said we're recording an album. He yeah, was pissed. He I, was I felt like, hella bad. Yeah, because I didn't tell him in shit, uh -huh. and like we come in there yeah, like we got yeah. ten songs. But at the same time, though, like we busted that shit out hella fast. Yeah, hella fast. But so yeah, we pretty much like. The chemistry was already there. We already knew like what we were capable of. It was just all a matter of actually putting it together in the an actual album. Like we were like the whole time we were rapping and putting stuff on SoundCloud, we were always just like dreaming of like, you know, like our album, like our yeah. debut album. And the fact that it all just happened so quick is just like it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy like because we weren't even really talking about doing an album either. No. And then we, it, it just, was kind of like a surprise when you Friday, came in yeah, and that, you're like, Let's we, get we it, got an know, idea. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, so like we went through like the whole recording like process and, and like it was just dope. We were just all just in there like, Hit like old times, bro. just like hella quick, just boom, boom, boom. And like, obviously I had like, I haven't recorded that was the first time recording in like a good minute. So like I had some rest on me for sure. But like once like we all just like, just in that zone like it was it was dope it was dope but like the hardest part was is like not telling people like we just recorded an album yeah like, yeah yeah that was probably like the toast because like all of our homies are like the deepest supporters like no matter like what we do like they're always there slapping that shit playing that shit so shout out to the homies that's crazy. Like, do, are a lot of people playing it? Like, like I, we had talks about it in text, I mean, but like, like, I don't know. Like, I've heard some, like, people have told bro, I'd me be playing randomly. on. I'd be playing on Xbox Live and just random fools be like, yo, smooth. Like, yo, I've been listening to the album and shit. Like, hey. people you don't even, like, expect. But, like, hey. it, you know, like, it's just crazy. It's a crazy feeling. Especially when people are like, yo, it's dope. Like, they actually, like, appreciate it. Like, it actually makes you feel, like, dope. Yeah. You know? We could have came with, like, a whack album like we i mean we, we I mean, like i'm not saying people, that we're whack but i'm saying that yeah. we could you we could have made an album but a lot that of people like don't understand liked. that the album was only a two-day process it wasn't like over months of period of time like normal albums are made like literally it was probably made in a total of 24 hours like i don't know how long the mix process took but maybe even less than 24 yeah. hours we had 10 tracks done yeah, yeah you and negus came through like you wrote like bro you wrote like three verses in like one day right like back to back yeah. when the last time uh, we were recording yeah, the second shit, day huh? yeah because i remember you were telling me like yo this is our last day at the studio we got to knock everything out and then we had that whole thing where negus was like i don't uh, know if i'm ready i don't know <laughs> and then this fool comes through with like the most fire <laughs> verses <laughs> and like all this other shit and we're like bro what <laughs> you know it's just like it's just crazy like 
Uh, like the whole thing is just everything that we wanted it, I guess. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not upset about anything on it. All right. So I'm like not surprised that people are fucking with it. But at the same time, I'm like, it, it feels weird because like it came out how we wanted it to mm. where people were slapping it over and over and exactly. over again. And like, I know you feel the same way. Like when I listen to it, I'm like, bro, this shit's classic. Like this, classic, ha- yeah, she, yeah, classic feeling, classic. bro. <laughs> you listen to the whole thing and you're like, it just sounds like so good. Well, every shout out to you for really time. putting like the track list and everything, like you know, everything like really got coordinated from you. Honestly, like it's just, it's I, just like the I trust, have, like, um, yeah. like I don't like anything like he does. Like I'm all for it, you know. Like that's just been the homie, you know, since day one. So it's just dope. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, I appreciate the trust and like you had it right. Like I knew that you feel me, like mm-hmm. that you and Negus would come through. Like I knew you were gonna fucking kill, it, and I knew like we could do it. You feel me? But the fact like we just like all got together, we ate Smash Burger yeah. after doing like those songs, and <laughs> we then was we came back in the car yeah. and shit. Had that old lady okay. looking at us, hello funky. Like what are they doing over there? <laughs> Like, it's 2018. We smoke a weed. <laughs> it, and, like, the, I had been practicing. Like, like I said, like you mm. weren't sitting. You had made a few tracks, but you hadn't dropped a track since when we were doing the stuff on yeah. SoundCloud. So I had worked with uh, Gabe, and then I, I started doing my solo stuff. Uh-huh. So, like, I had been, like, seasoned, you yeah, feel exactly. me? Like, uh, like, writing and making songs. So, like, that's the only reason why I think, I, like, I was able to, like, organize it like that. Mm-hmm. But y'all, like, it wouldn't have happened if, you, like, y'all didn't come through like you did. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Like, exactly. so fire. Like, you guys were able to take the songs that I had already, like, thought about. Mm-hmm. And then you guys, just like, you were able to literally yep. sit there and just, like, take the song and, and, like, take it up a whole notch and shit. That shit's dope as yeah. fuck. I, I uh, fucking love that album. <laughs> all right. What's your favorite song off it? Brass. Brass. For sure. <laughs> Hands down, brass. I mean, on a, I don't think that's like my cleanest verse on that, but just everybody just like this. It's, sh- it's just <sighs> hands down, just such a good song. Like I just want to smoke my way. Give a fuck about you? <laughs> Why you hating on me? Is it no? Niggas killed you that. know? Yeah, like and just like the subject matter, like we like you killed that verse. Like it was, it's just fire. If y'all haven't listened to that yet, go check Brass out, track brass. number nine. Brass, Momentum. mind over matter. <laughs> Momentum, Brass, you feel me? But, um, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't, all of them are, are dope. They're all, they all stand out in a different way, for sure. It's crazy how, like, what we did, it's it's so, like, mind over matter to be able yeah. to take, like, eight different types exactly. of beats and, like, throw all, them all and do all something funky. Like, sick. Like, they're yeah. funky. Like, like you don't really hear a lot of stuff like that nowadays. Everything's all like boom, bap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that trap sound. But like, it's like, just, it's, I mean, obviously, like, there's some like similar sounding stuff to nowadays, but it's, it's like not a breath all of fresh like, air, yeah, you exactly. feel me? Like, uh, and shit that's and whack. It's like each track you go to, it's not like you don't get the same vibe from the next one, you know? You get a crazy ass feeling, like, each each track. Yeah. It, really isn't dope. it crazy how like everybody has a different song though. like we were talking yeah. about it remember like oh like what's gonna be everyone's favorite song yeah, yeah. her favorite song is like mixed feelings like, See, I've, like I, I've heard people say family matters i've i've been told on every single like every single song is someone's favorite yeah. song like by different people that's crazy that's fucking crazy we we're out there for the audience you know <laughs> all ears <laughs> like uh, I thought Momentum would be like the top most played song, but think, Family Matters. I can't believe that. Remember, we that was the last track yeah. we completely finished, uh-huh. basically. But and everybody we're like, came stupid on that. That shit's hard as yeah, fuck. It is, and it to have it to be like the like technically like that's not the intro, but that's the intro. Like you yeah, know, that's like when we're actually like. Rap- I know people are mad that we didn't rap on the first one, but we don't give yeah, a that damn. Yeah, was weird about that. Like people were like, "Why? Uh, like what? I wanted to hear you guys rap on that one." I'm like. Uh. <laughs> okay like i didn't even know people would have wanted to hear me yeah like, exactly hear you i mean that's that, just been that's for the crazy. people who have like been with us like for every everybody who obviously haven't like listened to us and like gave that for the first play they probably were like oh i don't know what, like this is about but like that's literally just been for everybody who's just been down since day one you know because like we haven't been together in four years yeah. you know like yeah intro outro eight bangers that's it 
Yeah, that that intro is for <laughs> for everybody who knows us. You know, that's yeah, that shit's one time for the past and shit. Yeah. And then we just go straight into the future. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's just like that family matters, and then it goes into momentum. You know, like it's crazy to like look back at like the energy of it. You feel exactly. me? Like when we were like all yeah. doing it, and like why I said earlier, momentum had set it off is because like we made momentum, and then we still had like nine more songs yeah. to record. Because that was the we first were, song that we did. Yeah, and we're like, yo, this <laughs> shit's crazy. We were playing that shit back. Yeah, bro. because Neg is finally fucking sang for us. Oh, bro, that's crazy. The first time we ever had him sing yeah. on tracks, he did exactly. like six where yeah. he sung, bro. Yeah. Five. And he was, he was like, and he, I don't think it's going to, like, shut up. It's going to sound sing. good. <laughs> like, go sing. Like, that's it. You exactly. Know? Like, ah, uh, and then even after, bro, I've, I've heard it. I heard it for, we heard mm. it for weeks after we were listening to that. Bro, yeah. like, I don't know, man. Like, Nick, yeah, you even the whole entire time, me. yeah, we had to reassure him every step of the way, like, bro, this is fire. It's shout it's, out to Negus, though. Yeah, and shout out to Jay <laughs> Negus. Bro, I can't wait till Sack when we have like, oh, us three. Shit. And, or, just, like, we're Eric not gonna two. get shit done, we're just gonna be laughing the yeah. whole time. Have, have hustle in there, too. Oh, Hustle's gotta, gotta have, be. yeah, <laughs> we have to have to that's gonna have the whole background story like and of course we gotta have Jenny in it you know yeah of course I wish bro that's the one thing that I do wish we had more Jenny versus yeah, on, the on, album. on the album for sure well I mean he, I don't I don't know what happened like the next day you yeah, know he just, he just like have but, you talked to him lately have you, has he listened to the whole thing I don't know I don't even know if he knows that we we dropped an album off of it I think I, he I, he might know or he might not know, but I think we might be leaning towards might not know. I <laughs> because unless Negus he told him, he, he wouldn't. Might have. He wouldn't. But I mean, he's been. He was in that group chat, you know, with me, you, Negus. Yeah, but Ravi. we moved once we oh, talked yeah, about actually okay, having yeah, like that, that. the full album. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really just wish I, he would have been on like three. Like if I would have got like three yeah. more, because he would have just put on of extra yeah, verse. We could uh, just took those songs and like exactly. threw his verse on there, and they would have been because like, it's only like the total album is only like 20, 22. 25 minutes, you know. So if we would have had more Genic, we could have probably got it to almost thirty, yeah, basically for sure, bro. Because we could, oh, yeah. Some I of those know. songs we should we could do a remix. Yeah, like, we could honestly could have do some remix for sure. This was like, yo, let me get a, a remix on the album. I'm like, bro, I don't know if that's going to happen, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, you are not yeah. going to get on. Unless I, you mind over matter, you're not getting on that album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about, like, when you heard the beats, like, jazz, like that? Oh, that shit's pretty crazy to have that full produce, it is, like, yeah, five yeah. tracks. Especially the fact that you actually, like, can talk to that fool in person like you, like you're not just buying off of some random fool like it's all been like in-house like everybody that has been a part of it like knows somebody in the group like personally so it's just been it's been dope to have all the production and all the help that we've had so far all right album two what's it gonna be like <laughs> crazy <laughs> she gonna be jumping off the shelves baby i think that like when we do do another one it's got to be in the same not fashion like if we had more time to write mm -hmm. and stretch it out but like i like that not even i like time to stretch it out recording. but just even just a little bit more time to record Think, the yeah, verses yeah. That, to get down like your voice control of you know after mm -hmm. each bar and type stuff but for sure i i like how quick like we went with it for sure like went in there and I don't it wouldn't have been able to be done I I think if we had like a week and we're going in there to yeah, record. we, we were just like it's crazy that we we're all yeah that, like, all right, this that, is what that we're doing, deadline we're doing. we had yeah. that was that really what like pretty much put it off in into what it is now just because we were so limited with time you know shout out to my uncle for fucking for real I feel bad for that fool and shit. Like, well, I mean, but I, I mean, but at the end of the day, he asked he us was to get fucking on. Fucking with it, though. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, he asked us to get on the verse. He took his time mixing it. So, like at the end of the day, like our product was there. And that's the one thing that I know that whatever we present, like we got that product. We got we that got shit. that fire. Exactly. Yeah, that shit. And that that's literally what it is. It's a fucking product. Like I'm exactly. thinking about it. Like, There's bro, been like other times before, too. like. Uh, people have been like, yeah, I got this beat. Like, oh, but I got some fool on it already. But then, like, show me, like, your verse. You're like, all right, I'm taking that fool off. Like, you're coming, like, you know, mm -hmm. like, that's just, like, how we've always just been, you know. No one's really, like, known about us. But, like, you listen to us, you're like, that's dope. That's dope. 
You yeah, know? I haven't heard actually anything anyone say anything bad about the album. Exactly. Me neither. I've actually, and I'm like I said, I'm surprised people how much it's like. Like I knew people would like it, but it's getting played in like a time where the albums plays. aren't getting played. You Just know on what I'm Spotify, saying? so I mean, if you include Apple Music, like, we're probably like 10, 15 k streams, bro. And I'm saying that it's super entrepreneurial because fuck SoundCloud because not you're not making paid. money. Exactly. exactly. Even if we're getting paid like three hundred dollars in a year for it, I'm with that. It's more than. Than putting your music out for free. Obviously, I mean, there's a slim chance, you know, of getting noticed and stuff like that. But you get paid for your work. Yeah, hey, <laughs> exactly. That shit's crazy. All right, you got any any shout outs? Anything anything special you want to say? Anything um, anything you want to get off on in your mind? Anything you want to say? You know, fuck Donald Trump. Oh, it's you know always fuck saying? Donald Trump. <laughs> And if you don't like that, lick my nuts. A hey, hey, shout out to Kramer <laughs> for supporting Donald Trump because I think shout that's what hasn't Krusty replied K. to me because my whole podcast is like, fuck, fuck Donald, Donald Trump. Trump and all this. Yeah, he's probably like, no, shout hey, out to Kramer. No. You know, but even though like all of our homies, we have differences like in those views, yeah. like we're still like cool. So like we're not, we're not fucking, you know, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is cool but, that know, we can, yeah. Um, just shout out to the whole mind over matter family you know first of all um shout out to my family for always holding me down shout out to my girl she's the best i'm so lucky you know um and shout out to myself because <laughs> that's what's up <laughs> you know and uh you know that's it if you're rocking with us keep rocking if you ain't rocking with us you're gonna know us eventually you feel me? Yeah. This is GDQ the one on Q's Corner. Thank you <laughs> for stopping corner. by. What's happening? It's your boy Smooth, <laughs> Mind Over Matter, and we gone. <laughs> that was clean. <laughs>